How realistic is it to expect that the NHL could be back here in this city? Well, I, I think it's possible. I think that, uh, you know, post-lockout, there's an economic system that might work here. Um, we've been fortunate to have a couple of NHL, uh, Canadian-based NHL teams help us understand that. Uh, so we've looked at it very carefully. We think uh, the new system may work here. Um, it's hard to evaluate it completely. There are some lot of questions that would still have to be answered, and uh, principally the uh, you know the the type of corporate support that would be required. Um, but I think we're within the realm of the possible with this new deal. Well, there's no doubt this city's passionate about hockey, and they're passionate about the Jets and losing the Jets. I mean, I can remember I was here when the the first Jets team was formed in the WHA right. 35 years ago, right. and I put in my money to help raise money the first time there was trouble. However. You know, it's one thing to say they're passionate. It's another thing to say, well, you know, like what's really changed in the dozen years since Winnipeg lost the team? I understand, you know, new economic order of some sort in the NHL. But has that really made a difference? Yeah, it has. And that coupled with the building. I mean, we didn't have a building uh, that really could accommodate or create the revenues that are necessary to support a team. When the Jets left, we have that facility now. Uh, and I think, you know, given a second chance, I, I wouldn't bet against this community. I think... You know, the, as you pointed out, the, the loss is uh, still felt by lots of people. And I think given a second chance, uh, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't rule out the type of support uh, that exists here and, and whether it's enough to, you know, to, to carry a team long term. Well, if you're going to get an NHL franchise, you've got to sort of hope that one folds <laughs> and, and, and you buy it. Right. Or there's an expansion. Correct. Uh, set up where, and we're talking big money in either case. We are. Just to buy. Uh, clearly, that's been the trend. The last uh, three transactions or post-lockout transactions have been very significant, uh, most recent one in Edmonton. Um, I don't know if expansion's real. I, you know, we continue to dialogue with the National Hockey League, and uh, they continue to express what I judge to be genuine interest in the in the community. But you're right. It's, it's going to be uh, either or. And, you know, um, perhaps there's one of those markets that uh, ultimately is going to say we'd be better off in Winnipeg. And um, you know, we would we would really welcome the opportunity to uh, to uh, explore that with one of the yeah, owners. You know, there are some people who have been trying to get in uh, who, who wonder how seriously the NHL, meaning Gary Bettman, really wants to have another team in Canada. Now, you've had some discussions with them, and I assume with Bettman as well. I have. Do you get the sense that he's got a, a problem with Canada? No, I really don't. I you know, uh, I've had occasion to to work with Mr. Bettman through. The, our own league through the league that we participate in. I, I judge him to be uh, uh, sincere in his interest. Uh, we were asked to present to their executive committee last January. Uh, we did that. Uh, we've, you know, we've, uh, there's been some pretty open and candid dialogue ever since. Um, I think it's, you know, the, the game's growing in Canada. The, the revenues that are, are supporting uh, that league, or much of them uh, that have resulted since the lockout, have come out of this country. And I think it's logical for them to look back to Canada for not just to this market, but uh, perhaps one or two others. You got two hundred million dollars to buy no. a franchise if it came to that? No, I don't. Um, I, I don't have two hundred million dollars. But we have a very um, solid ownership group. I'm not the the only uh, partner mm -hmm. in our group, and um, we've got a, a, a very well established group of owners in our in our mix. Well, let's say it happens some point in the next five, ten years. Winnipeg Jets? You know, I, that's a good question. I haven't really allowed myself to ponder. I've <laughs> been more focused on, uh, you know, running our existing team and, you know, at the same time trying to explore the ups and downs and possibilities of the NHL. Haven't turned myself to the name just yet, Peter. But it wouldn't be automatic? I don't think so. I, I, it's a good question. I don't know that it would be automatic. I think there would be a case for it. There might be a case for... Starting fresh with uh, with a with a new a new name and a new team. All right, listen, it's been great of you to talk to us. Thanks my, very much. My pleasure. Okay.